in Africa. Sunday morning early, Eric, Bindu and myself went to church in Bohimba. We wanted to go and visit Pascal's church. Pascal is one of our boys in Bohimba. He's 16 years old and just an outstanding leader and character and follower of Christ. We really want to invest in his life. We went to his church and oh my goodness, it was so amazing. Of course, the three-hour service, people worshipping and giving uh, just crazy testimonies. One woman went to the front and she held a baby of about six months old. They welcomed the baby back because the child was kidnapped from the mother and was gone for two months. And they found the child again. I mean, I just, I'm sitting in a church and I'm witnessing this and people are dancing and singing. It's incredible. It's beautiful to see how deep our faith and hope can go when we live in tough times. Another man shared how he and his family fled back to Bohimba from a village where they relocated a few years ago, but the violence was just too much and they came back and they were welcomed with open arms. On Saturday, we had a children's day in Bohimba. We played and they had a huge meal. But I saw that Pendu, one of our grandmothers, she had no food. She just sat there waiting for her grandchildren to come back. Sunday morning, very early, I felt just a nudge to go and bless her with some food. After the service, Pendu and I went to go and visit Pendu and her family. So Bindu and I walked through the community and we wanted to go and buy some sweet potatoes. As it happened, as we got to the little marketplace, there was this girl who just came out of the field. She had this bag of sweet potatoes over her shoulder. You know, I'm looking at this girl, 10 years old. Can you imagine Sunday morning trying to sell sweet potatoes? She packed them out next to the roadside. I just walked up to her and I said, I'll buy your sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh, it was just like this double blessing because we could bless this young girl and be generous to her and take her sweet potatoes to Pendu. As we arrived at Pendu's house, she sat there with all the children. She hasn't eaten for two days. And there we were late Sunday morning with a bag of sweet potatoes for Pendu and her family. You know, the suffering, it's tough. But there's a a spirit of hope. There's a laughter. There's a singing that I have not seen for years in my affluent brothers and sisters. It was painful and it was a great blessing. And it was just an ordinary Sunday for Bindu. Double, double, double dot hands at work.org